Oh, Leon, you's a fool, you old fat idiot. There's no way Litmus is a good song. Jake Paul can't make good music. Bear with me, folks. If you give me just a minute of your time and your undivided attention, I have a good feeling, a strong conviction that I can convince you that Jake Paul is the new Bing Crosby of the young generation. Hello, everyone. My name is Nigel Cushington. I am joined here today with my co-host, Leon Lush the Monkey. And we are just humbled that you clicked on this video and decided to join us for a few minutes. Now, Jake Paul releases a music video for a brand new Christmas song. What's your first reaction going to be? <laughs> yeah, that's normally my reaction too, but this time, this time it's different. This time, it's something special. And I want to share that here with you today and pinpoint a few of the reasons why I think this is one of the best songs of our generation. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas. Mr. Paul. Are you ready to sing a little jingle? I mean, right off the bat, we have this adorable dialogue between Jake and the elves, you know? Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas, Mr. Paul. I just, it's, it's tantalizing. And the decor, the Christmas decorations. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm not an interior decorator, and I don't generally play hide the sausage with other men, but I... I know good Chris de I, fuck, fuck! I know good Christmas decorations when I see him. Joke ruin! Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see... I mean, a custom litmus wreath? Who doesn't want one of those? And let's be honest, the fidelity on this audio is otherworldly. I've never heard such clean, crisp, incredible audio. It's as if Jake is in the room with you, singing with you, lap dancing on you, singing Christmas songs with a litmus wreath tied around his little balls. It's just, it's remarkable. Too late. Jump roping with Christmas tree lights while delivering some of the most face-melting vocal harmonies that I've ever heard. And I've heard a lot of beautiful harmonies. Uh, this really is going to be a Christmas to remember. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. You know, everyone's always talking about how bad Jake Paul is, how he's not a musician, how we should stop making music. But listen, you got to see what I'm saying here. Jake Paul really has his diversity on display here as he showcases his propensity for bilingual performance. Just when you think he couldn't be any more cultured, he hits us with this bombshell. And we are left absolutely speechless. Well, the only way that I think that this song could get any better is that once Slim Jiximi comes in the song and him and Jake have their part, like if they can, if they have a chemistry, if they can play off each other and really solidify this track is the, the track to beat in 2017. I mean, I'm thinking Oscar worthy Grammy MTV Awards AMAs. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight to love. break this spell. I'll take your hat. I mean, come the fuck on. How can, how can you compete with this? The way Jake and Slim play off each other is just so effortless. It's as if Broadway crawled up both of their asses and covered their insides with raw talent and unmatched charisma. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Okay, I, could, I concede. Not every part of this song is magnificent because that verse was gay. Still 99 out of 100, though. I'm docking one point off. Gay verse. But the last chorus is incoming, and I'm really expecting them at this point to really pull out all the stops, turn the bass up, and turn this into the banger it was always destined to be. I'm dreaming of a wild Holy shit fucking slaps, dude! Just like the one. You can't even look me in the eyes after watching this video and pretend like you're not at least questioning your initial judgment that this song was complete garbage. I feel like I've done my part in pointing out some of the intricacies in the musical abilities that are on display here, and it's I think it's up to you to not be a sheep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not be a sheep of, oh, uh, you know, hopping on the Jake Paul hate train. You know, fucking, oh, Jake Paul's the worst, Jake Paul can't. Bullshit! <laughs> Anyways, 
Real curious about how you felt of, about this song. What was your favorite part, do you think? Did this review, this kind of deconstruction of this symphony of sound, <laughs> change your opinion on it? Let me know, because that's what I'm trying to do. I want to deliver the facts, the real truths of Christmas music, and I think that Jake Paul just deserves a chance. And we haven't been giving him a chance. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm really, I mean, I'm sorry to end this on such a somber tone, but my goldfish just died. And uh, it's going to be a tough month. Jumped right out of the bowl, landed on the kitchen floor, and I, I stepped on him as I was going into the closet to get chips and salsa. And as I felt the form of his body being obliterated under the weight of my massive size 15 foot I couldn't help but think you know what what could make me feel better in this moment of pain and agony how can I how can I lift myself up and that's what brought me to this song and and here we are so I don't know if it's a sign I don't know but you know I hope you guys are having a great month and a Merry Christmas be sure to hip thrust that motherfucking like button ah! hip thrust it good and uh, I'll see you in the, in the next video. It's not a complete farce. <laughs> Cue the outro. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.